here with my friend Dory. Yes. Hello. Because we're going to be talking about ginger facts, and who best to talk about ginger facts with than a real ginger? I don't know anything else about science. But you know about being ginger? I do know a lot about being uh -huh. ginger. I've been ginger for over 23 years now. How did you keep up the commitment? Um, through not doing anything. Through, <laughs> through hard dedication to apathy, <laughs> I have remained ginger all these years. Do you know why you're ginger? Uh, because my parents had sex. <laughs> and they're both ginger. Most people are ginger because they have a recessive gene. Mm -hmm. So if both your parents are ginger, mm -hmm. then but that means both of them have this two genes, which mm -hmm. means you're like 100% going to be mm -hmm. ginger. Genetics! Yeah! Being ginger, it's a mutation in the MC1R gene, which I definitely misread the first time as the MCR gene. <laughs> and I was thinking like My Chemical Romance. I am not okay with this. <laughs> so the MC1R gene... No wait, I need to, I need to talk about melanin first. Merlin. Melanin. Um, Melanin. <laughs> Merlin created the gingers <laughs> in a cauldron. <laughs> For what purpose? Um, to uh, to punish the people of the Middle Ages. <laughs> like, You've all been sinful. Now you shall deal with sunburn and and other stereotypes. So you have two different types of melanin in your body. Mm -hmm. Melanin is the chemical that gives you your colour. Mm -hmm. There's eumelanin, which mm -hmm. is black or brown, because okay. it comes in two types. And there's pheomelanin, which is pink, or like mm -hmm. reddish. It's what makes your lips and your nipples pink. Oh. And it's also what makes your hair yeah, yeah. red. Did you right. have to check? Like you just... weren't sure what colour your nipples were? No, I was kind of sure, but <laughs> I just wanted an excuse to look at my nips, to be honest. <laughs> the MC1R gene it produces a protein that sits on the cells that make melanin. It, just like that. Mm -hmm. They're receptor cells. So hormones come along and they're like, Hey cell, can you stop producing pheomelanin, the red one, and start producing eumelanin? And the cell is like, okay, I'll do that. But when you have a mutation in this gene that makes this, it can't recognize the hormone anymore. And it comes along <laughs> and it's like, hey, start producing you melanin. And the receptor's like, no. <laughs> It just keeps producing pheomelanin, okay. and so you just always have everything's red, and it... <laughs> I can do that better, hang on. It's not just Europeans who have red hair. Yeah, no, I was aware of this, mm -hmm. um, but I still want proof. I don't I, know, I, please I'll show tell you a me. picture. Here is a lady from Papua New Guinea what? with ginger hair. She's a Polynesian woman. That's where they have so cool. Gingers. And this is a Chinese girl <laughs> with red hair. That's adorable. Ginger, it happens to people all over the world. But it is most common in people of Scottish descent. Next fact about gingers. Bring it. Gingers need more anaesthetic than the general population. This started off as anecdotal evidence. Mm -hmm. Loads of anaesthetists were like, you know, whenever I get a ginger person in the operating theatre, I need to give them more, more anaesthesia. That, that does add up, actually. When I was seven, I broke my elbow very badly. Oh my god, can you can you come right up yep. here? That looks like such a great scar. It feels weird too. Basically, I got the scar because I broke my elbow uh, tripping over a tree root being chased by girls. Oh! Not in a like they were trying to kiss me kind of way, they were trying to like beat me up. We got to the hospital and they were gas and air, gas and air, and I'm like, ah, it still really hurts. And eventually, seven year old me uh, had morphine. They were just like, shut up, squirt. <laughs> and that put me out pretty quickly. They did an actual study on it, and it's totally true. Fascinating. Which led to the next thing, mm -hmm. is that gingers are more sensitive to hot and cold. Is that so? Yeah, because the, the theory went, ah, oh, maybe the reason they need more anaesthetic is because redheads are more sensitive to pain. So they did a study, and they're more sensitive to thermal pain. Interesting. I think I'm generally pretty good with cold. Like You were the one who dared me to the ice bucket challenge. I did. Yeah. I challenged you to do that. You were the only person I challenged who actually did it. <laughs> Next ginger fact. Bring it. You know how some men have dark hair but ginger beards? Mm -hmm. Do you know why that is? If you have the recessive ginger gene but you only have one copy of it, your head hair will most likely to be dark, okay. but all over your body there'll be different expressions of the two different genes. Huh. So some places it will be all dark, uh -huh. some places it might be more ginger. So huh. you, c you can have dark hair and a ginger beard, or ginger armpit hair, mm. or ginger pubes. 
I'm not gonna check those. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I choose to believe that the reason that men's beards come out ginger if their head isn't, uh, it's because they've sinned. <laughs> Do you think uh, ginger people would go to hell because they'd fit in more easily with the fire? That's racist. <laughs> Can I tell you a really interesting thing about, you know those studies that I told you about with the anaesthetic and the oh, yeah. hot and cold? So they were done exclusively on women. They had red-haired women and they had dark-haired women. But the interesting thing is that most of the time when you do a scientific study, you normally do it on all men because right. they're afraid that the data is going to get fucked up by menstrual cycles. Okay. Um, so they took all women and they all made sure they were in the first 10 days of their menstrual cycle. Right. Um, so that that wouldn't skew the data. And I was wondering why. Do you think they just really wanted loads of like beautiful ginger women in their lamb? Any departing words? Final thought, date a ginger. <laughs> Try it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> um, you should go follow Dory on Twitter. Uh, I'm not very funny. <laughs> You're a comedian. I know, but I'm, I'm just not very funny on Twitter. Oh, it's I just... mostly use it to take part in goal of the month and complain about weather, I don't know. Uh, truly British pastimes. You can follow me at the Wizard of Doz. Um, go check out my YouTube videos. I post stand up every now and then. Thanks for watching. See you next time. In What's Being Hailed is a major breakthrough. Scientists have synthesized my privileged white penis in the lab. Oh, but we have so many of them already. We are playing with a special version of Cards Against Humanity.